I'm Dave. I'm Steve. I'm Dad. And I'm Son. Welcome to another episode of DJ Projects Wednesday Special. Welcome to the weekly Wednesday episode, and we're on fencing. We've got Blake and Taff on this one. Shouldn't be too much of a long video. I'll just show you what we're actually doing. So you see this fencing here? It's being replaced. It's actually coming out six foot. You see what the neighbor's done over there? We're actually doing that here as well, because this land, six foot art, is actually that property's. They're gonna make the most of it. They're actually gonna extend the fencing. So it's a bit of a strange one, I guess, but it's something we're gonna give for this customer. We're also gonna be using these panels, I believe, because they're not in too much of bad name. There's a few cat eyes where the knots have fell out over time, but nothing too crazy. As you can see, some of them have got different buttons for the caps. That's, that's got three, that's got three, but then that one's got two and that one's actually got nothing. So we'll be using those two panels for today because we're not ripping this down because it's a little bit later in the day. We're not gonna rip this one down. We're actually gonna start off the neighbor's post just there. That what Taft's done right now using the six foot guide. So that post will be coming out. We're actually gonna be running off that one which the neighbors agreed to. That's the line, and we're running down there. What we'll do is get a gravel board there and start digging our hole for that nine foot corner. Oh, nine foot corner's heavy, gonna be heavy. Let's crack on, get this gravel board ready, get this hole dug. So we've set this post and now you can see a little bit of the difference in height from that post to that post. This is gonna be a sloping panel. We've also set a string line up so we can see where we're working. We're probably gonna get as close to this as possible without disturbing it. So we're pretty much going to where Blake is now. Just gonna keep digging and we've had to bring this out a little bit because that post has got a lean. You can sort of see the lean because you can see the bottom of the post behind. You can see nothing at the top, but we're not allowed to change that post. So there's nothing we can really do about that. We've got to go in a little bit of an angle to somewhere around there. So once we've got that dug and the post inside and set, we'll catch. So we've got another post in. We've dug a little bit of a channel for the gravel board, just so that it sits level because it was pretty much sitting how it is now, because you can see that we're on uneven ground. So we'd leveled off the ground and we're just digging the next hole now, ready for the next nine foot post. We've set that string line up, lovely straight line. It's coming along, so I'll put you on a time lapse and meantime, we'll get this first bay in. Almost got this first being seven foot tall, this one, because we're gonna be having a summer house there. Looking very nice already. This may have to drop at the very, very smallest increments down, less than an inch every time, because again, the ground is a little bit lower there and higher there. But we're gonna make sure this looks very nice. So we'll get this one set and then we'll keep cracking on.
What about that, eh? That ain't too bad. Let's get this post in then. What do you reckon? Not bad, eh? Not bad for plumbers. It's coming along. Looks a bit weird with the other two bays though, don't it? Here's those bays from the back. Obviously, all of this will be coming down tomorrow. But I think that's it. Pretty much as done for today. We didn't get here till late and it's quarter past four. We've got to secure this garden off with a couple panels, tidy everything up. And I think we will be back tomorrow. So once we've done that, we'll head back and we'll see you in the morning. So we're back. Everything is still standing as we left it. That's always a good sign, eh? So we've took that panel out so we can get access for the water, get our tools back. But I think what we're going to do now is concentrate on getting the rest of the panels out and concentrate in getting all of this concrete out and out of the way. So one we can use those two panels without having to mess around with these two panels and then obviously we're having a customization on this one and that one over there i think we're going to start doing that bay there so we can get the customization as soon as possible and send that over to jamie so once again let's get rid of all these panels and all this concrete and taff we we've made a mess but the posts are out. As you can see, we've been fighting roots all the way because one, there's a tree there and there used to be them here. Root there, root there. That's sitting on a root. I believe that one is as well. But yeah, what we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna work on that bay. So that bay is gonna be a sloper as well, remember? So we're gonna get the post and then the gravel board in there. So let's get that one in using the magic fingers. So there we have it. We've put that panel in place so we knew the height of that post. And what we're going to do now, we're going to measure up to there, knowing it's five foot, still take a measurement, and then measure up to there. And then Jamie will make a custom panel, a custom sloper, so there's not a drop from seven foot to six foot we're actually gonna have a gradual slope all the way there same on that one there as well whilst taff does that string line so we can get our line back we're gonna crack on with a fencing so once again six foot spirit level for a guide all the way over there start digging our hole there So that hole's pretty much dug, but first, I think me and Taff will have some lunch. Get their manager levels back up. We'll catch up after. So we've had lunch and we've put a bay in. Just measuring up to make sure that we've got the right depth now for our post. And then we'll get that sunk in there and set. As you can see, the ground is on a bit of a slope. So we've just dropped this one an inch because we've put a new batten on there because the other one was all messed up. So we've put a new one on there. I've got a new one for that over there if needed might need it might not this is slightly smaller than these bays so we've got to adjust that anyway coming along quite nicely it's just starting to rain now as well you can see it on the camera typical that's not forecast on the weather app but once we get that post in i'll set you up and we'll get this bay in so here we go we're just setting the level of that ground to match this gravel board here so the 90 degree angle goes with each other so obviously we did a little drop there a little drop there to match that just there but it's coming along it is coming along i'll tell you what we'll do we'll get this bay in with some clicky fingers eh what's that that in a panel too good not to show you look level to level and level but now nah, back to this panel let's get it in He's slid in lovely. Taft's done a good job there of marking that panel out. 
whilst Taff was adjusting that panel. I've been around this side, just clearing a few things up, filled up this wheelbarrow, raked a few things into a pile and I've just been messing around with the stone, just giving it a final rake. Well, it's coming along. We've just got that one panel there to do. So we'll get that done now. There's a possibility that Blake will bring the sloping panel out for there and the sloping panel out for there. And then this job will be pretty much completed. But we definitely need to get those panels in today because we can't leave this garden open. No one wants an open garden. So that's why we're going to get a sloper in there, a customization in there and a sloper in there. So as soon as they come or arrive, we'll catch back up. Change of plan. I've come back to the yard to get the panels because Blake hasn't got the time to do them. So whilst I'm here, I'm going to get rid of this concrete just over there and grab the panels. But first, let's see if those swans are here. No swans. Little ducky of some sort though. But yeah, let me get this concrete off, get those panels and get back to Taff. And we're back. Little change on this job as well, just like the last one. So as you can see, we've done two straight, gone with the ground, gone with the ground. So the panels were looking nice and neat at the top, but the customers asked if we'll put a batten underneath just to make that drop like that, but then have that panel above the post and the customer gets what they want. I guess we'll take it out and uh, we'll put that batten at the bottom. And then I believe he wants us to saw the top of the corner off there in a chamfer style. Not 100% sure how that's gonna look. Again, that's what they've asked us to do. So that's what we'll do. So let's get on with it. Eh? So we've put a button on the bottom, just gonna secure that all together now. So there's no obviously bow between this and that. So we'll secure them together. Well, so as you can see now, we've put that button there and you can see the panels above the post by a button. So the height was perfect before, but now we're gonna attempt to chamfer this off as the customers asked. So we'll crack on with that. Time to get this in. Made to perfection, eh? Hey. Good job I measured that one. Yeah, right. Oh, can't we tell right camera? Hey. Said it'd take all the yeah, yeah no. the glory for it all. It's funny, isn't it? I set the camera up. Look where he goes and stands there. Oh yeah, right, oh, son. I think the comments are going to his head. <laughs> Let's get this next one in. See if Taff measured this one. <laughs> oh. Ready? I've just been on gravel board. Do you listen? Oh, yes. Don't get much better than that, eh? You measured that, Steve, eh? I'll give you your props, mate. <laughs> so this is obviously what it's looking like now. That's what that corner is looking like now. Not what we would have done. But that's what the customers asked for. So again, that's what we've done. Obviously, we chamfered that off the best that we could put a timber on the bottom just there. Not too shabby, eh? Obviously, there's a custom sliding panel right here as well. So I'll just show you what this fencing was looking like before. As you can see, it's at six foot. This is the fencing now, sitting at seven foot, returning all the way down. with a couple customs. So we'll tidy up, I'll take a few pictures and we'll be done here. Well, that's another one done from the D&J boys and the D&J team. Sloping panels into four panels at seven foot tall with another slope on. Me and Taff hope you've enjoyed what you've saw. If so, give this video a like, subscribe if you're brand new and we shall see you bright and early in the next one.